Hi, this is Ross from Visai. In this video, we're going to be discussing the experience portal dashlets we've created for the uh, Avaya experience portal. Um, I've got some good examples on my screen now. This is a, a real live environment. And we're monitoring three different servers. And you can see that uh, two of the dashlets look the same. Uh, one looks a little bit different. Uh, now, that's because the uh, dashlets understand the servers, the role of the servers that they are uh, monitoring. So in this case, uh, on the left here, uh, this environment here is just an EPMS, so just the uh, experience portal management uh, side. Uh, these two both run EPMS and MPP, so they're handling, handling the audio component as well, and you'll notice that the, um, they look a little bit different. Uh, but if we start at the, the top of the, the dashlet, uh, this is where we capture the performance of the server hardware. So this is the, the server boxes themselves. So we have the host name here and the processor memory uh, utilization, and also the uptime, so the time since the last reboot. Now some IT departments have, uh, by policy, uh, a regular reboot schedule. Uh, so we show the uptime here so that that can kind of be, uh, kind of be seen. So in this environment, uh, that policy um, doesn't apply but we can see here that this experience portal here that rebooted four days ago, uh, and by comparison, this one's been running for 334 days. So um, we can see the, uh, the uptime of the server. So that's the server hardware at the top there. Uh, next, we look at the software services, so the next layer up, if you like, so the application that is running on, on these servers. So you can see on the EPMS side that the dashboard understands uh, that it should be running uh, Tomcat, ActiveMQ, uh, SL, and we can see the overall status of the VPMS. So it's all traffic lighted, uh, that's all running, uh, which is a good thing. Green is a good thing. Uh, if we look at the software services on these two servers, we can see that they're running a, a lot more software services. That's because they have that dual role. And of course everything there is, uh, is looking green, uh, so that's good. Now the idea behind tracking these software services is that um, while the server hardware might be running okay, you can get one of these applications that stops. Uh, and if it stops, you get some, some strange behavior happening. It might take you a little bit of time to, to diagnose what's going on. So the dashboard view tells you at a glance whether these, uh, the software services are running okay. So we've got a view of the hardware and a view of the software there to see how it's all running. Now these, uh, these boxes here can all collapse, and that's to save uh, desktop real estate. So the next layer up from the software services, we're starting to look at the configuration. And of course, because of the Visai configuration management database, we understand how these various applications tie together. So we understand the dependencies, we understand how they're configured. So these dashboards uh, can automatically configure themselves. So if you change the configuration or you change the role of these servers, the dashboards will pick that up and they'll just reconfigure themselves to monitor the right thing. So because these two uh, MPPs, they have a trunk uh, across to the session manager, so the session manager there, session manager there, uh, each of the trunks has got 40 ports on it, 40 are in service on both of them, and right now there's one connected call uh, here on uh, the Albert Street site and three connected calls at Penrose. So the next layer up again from the trunk is the application. So what application is playing on these experience portal? So at the moment, at these two sites, we've got, uh, at the uh, Penrose site, we've got two applications in use. So we've got the wrapper underscore ccnxml underscore v2. It's got two inbound connections on it. And the nzaa underscore contractor has got one inbound connection, making a total of three calls there. At uh, the Albert Street site, uh, it's just the wrapper underscore cc xml underscore v2 application, one inbound call. So we can see the direction of the call as well, inbound versus outbound. So collapse these two. And the last little layer we see, which is common across all of the dashlets, regardless of the underlying role, we see the user status. So uh, no users at all logged into the data center. AEP, uh, six logged into Penrose, six logged into Albert Street. 
So these dashboards can run in a, in a collapsed form like this. You'll still see the overall um, status of each layer through this uh, traffic light arrangement. So those green lights are all good. Um, alternatively, if desktop real estate's not an issue to you, you can run them fully expanded and, uh, and see the status of everything uh, at one glance. So hopefully you'll find these dashboards uh, useful. Uh, they are designed to track everything that may, um, may impact on availability. And of course at a glance you can see what's going on at all layers. Uh, and also if you have uh, your workflows configured, you'll get automatic notification of any of these, uh, anything untoward happens on these boxes. Cheers.